one month and a couple of weeks into Poshmark. How are my sales and what do I think so far of the platform? Right after this. Hi, I'm Amy, the Rainy Day Shopper. Thank you so much for joining me on this channel. I put out a haul video on Monday, so this is actually just an update of what's been going on as I work on selling, reselling, for the first time on Poshmark. I started this on April 15th, actually, was the first day that I uploaded anything onto Poshmark. Now, I had signed into Poshmark a little while before that, and then totally ignored the app um, and didn't do anything with it. And I really started doing some research, watching a lot of videos, gathering some information about Poshmark in, say, February of this year, 2019. So when I finally uploaded my items, I think I or uploaded maybe 10 things the first day, and I got my first sale the first day, which I was like, yes! Oh my gosh, I was so excited. And then I didn't get any sales for, you know, a while. It's a learning process. Getting started with anything new takes some time. And so far, I've had some really good luck as I've developed. It's been about, what, oh my gosh, April to May. It's been almost, it's almost June, April 15th to May 15th. So it's about six weeks. Yeah, so this is like the six week update. I really should have done a month update, but with mom's celebration of life party and getting things already on the farm for spring, I literally have been running non-stop for the past two months, um, trying to do the farm work and working part-time, taking care of mom and doing reselling. Yeah, it's been a lot. I'm having a great time, super fun, but I'm not quite ever finishing something that I'm starting and I'm, yeah. So I'll tell you more about that as we go on. But some of you are numbers people. I'm a kind of, let's see what happens and go with the people. But right now, uh, I actually printed out my sales report, which is really cool. This is what it looks like. Oh, hold on. I don't think there's anything like top secret. Let me make sure I don't need to bleep anything out. Just one moment. Da, 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 ba, dee, ba, dee, ba, dee. Nope. Eh. Okay. Um, yeah, it has my name, which you could know anyway. So this is what the sales report looks like. And this is only completed sales. So, so far I have had 20 total completed sales um, through, let's see, that's actually May 10th. Because last week I had, okay, this is Sunday, the June 1st, 2nd, June 2nd. Last week I had some good sales. I had five last week and those are still in process. But the week before that, I had zero sales. And when I took some time off for, I didn't, I just didn't have time to upload anything and I hardly shared it all for the week we were getting ready for mom's big party. And then we had, sorry, poor plant, I keep hitting it. Um, I hit it with pants in my last video, it was terrible. The um, getting ready for mom's party and then having company over, relatives staying, I did not do any sharing and I did not do hardly any uploading um, of new items. So my sales really fell off before that. Before that, in the first month I was on, uh, I guess three weeks I was on, I was having one to three sales a week and I think for only having a minimal number of listings, that's pretty good when I'm getting started out. I felt pretty happy with that. I wasn't um, disappointed at all. Now, of course, I'd like to have more, but I do have to upload more items to get more sales, which I'm working on. I have, I'm over 100 items listed. I think I'm at 130-ish right now, and I have photos for about 100 more, maybe only 50 more, that are ready to go up, um, and I'm doing about five a day, sometimes 10, depending on how much time I have to upload between other things especially trying to get the bugs, especially the slugs out of my garden. Oh my goodness. Whew. I'm trying some garden experiments this year. So if my hands look all like, okay, I'll just show you. Can you see that? Yeah, this is like the cracking. I don't know if you, I don't want to like point, but yeah, that's kind of what my fingers look like. So they're not pretty. So, you know, it's just happens. You're in the garden, there's dirt and I do my best, but it's reality. So, I've had 20 sales and 
let's see, of these that have already gone through, one, two, three were bundle sales. One of them was a five, my first bundle was a five item bundle. And that was actually something interesting because she had created a bundle of four items and something had happened when, because I offered her free shipping, of course, for that many items. I'm like, yeah, sure, go for it. Free shipping, boom, and then 10% off. I find that free shipping with like 10% off is actually more cost effective than 20% off and like a dollar something shipping. Um, plus it's, who doesn't like to get free shipping? It just feels like you're getting something really good. So I like that, it makes a customer happy. So for a nice big bundle, yes, free shipping for you. That was an over hundred dollar bundle, so sure. Um, but there was something that she had gone to accept it and she'd accepted it, but she thought the discount had gotten messed up somehow. So she mentioned that to me and was like, oh, I'll just take it. I was like, no, 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 don't worry. We'll just cancel it. And I noticed that you'd also liked this other dress. Do you just want to slip that into the bundle? And we'll add it all together, which we did. But I, So I canceled the order, but what I didn't realize is when I did that, that I would have to relist all the items to add them back in. So that was a good learning experience. But she bought five things and the box weighed 4.8 pounds. So I was really glad that it made it under that uh, threshold or it would have been way too much free shipping. Um, so that was exciting. And the great thing was is she just ordered another three item bundle on Thursday. She had put together, I noticed, um, I have so many, like some of my friends are sharing so much in the in the feed that sometimes I miss things. So I'd actually missed that she had made another bundle that was a four item bundle. And so I offered her free shipping on that and a discount. Um, but she had decided that she wanted some other items. So she canceled that and then put together a three item bundle. I put again the free shipping because she's a repeat customer, of course, and it was a bundle, um, even though it wasn't as an expensive of a bundle as our first purchase. Um, and she bought it like two seconds later. So that went out on Friday along with something else. And then something else went out Saturday, yesterday. Um, so my sales have been going okay, except like I said, I've had a whole week where there was not one sale. And so that's just kind of part of the process. I think there's ebbs and flows. I saw a few other videos from people online that said it was kind of a slow week for them too. And that summer does slow down. I think Poetry of Nice mentioned something about that. Um, Carly over there is such a sweetheart. I love watching her videos. Plus she finds really good things. Um, so, so far, I have brought in after Poshmark fees and shipping discounts, which I gave $25.77 in shipping discounts, which is interesting to know. And I'm not mad about that. I think that offering shipping discounts is a great way to get customers to purchase. And especially if they're purchasing in bundles, I don't feel bad about that at all. Um, and then I have made $442.08. Um, that is prior to the four orders from last week. And again, two of those were bundles. So I think that's pretty good for my first six weeks. Now, granted, it's not definitely anything I could use as a second income or like to replace my full-time income or, um, or to make my full-time income. But as someone starting out, I'm feeling pretty good about that. A couple of things that I've, um, let me just say, um, one more time. Oh my goodness. A couple of things that I've noticed on Poshmark is that it's really easy for people to use. And so people want to shop and it's fun to shop at home. And it's also fun to get little notes and feel special. And I'm really enjoying that. So far I've had all five star ratings, except I got one three star rating and the customer said needs a better description. And I asked her about it and she was super sweet. I was so disappointed that her, she didn't like her dress cause I thought it was gonna be beautiful on her. Um, and the dress was 57 inches long and she said that that was, that was not a maxi. And I think it was more the size. She didn't check the measurements when she ordered it and so it didn't quite fit right I think is more the problem and I felt terrible because oh, how disappointing to get something you think you're gonna love and look beautiful in and it doesn't fit so that just really confirmed to me how important measurements are and I do measure and put them in I do have a few listings when I'm listing from my phone and I don't have my notebook where I write down my measurements Sorry, plant. Um, I do have a few listings that don't have the measurements up there yet. I just need to add them in. Um, I do that just so I can 
keep making sure that I'm getting listings up even if I'm not at home where I have all my supplies. Someone mentioned taking a photo of the page where you write down your measurements would be helpful so that you can do that on the go and I may need to start doing that except I tend to have things, I don't like how I've been writing down my incoming items and when I'm processing them because I've been doing them by order. I think I want to do them by category kind of and that will be easier than to photo and lift, list like one group of pants or one group of shirts or one group of dresses without having to flip through a bunch of pages to try and find the items as I'm doing it just because I'm finding it's easier to do one type of listing at a time. That's just something I'm going to play with as time is going on. Um, I think there was something else I was going to say about that, but I have no idea right now. Oh, mostly because I need to get out. Oh, sorry. The, the allergies, itching, etc. Mostly because I just realized I need to get it back out to the garden because it's about time and spray some neem oil. I have had a pest infestation and so I need to take care of that. So I'm gonna make this quick, mostly because it's just a quick update. Um, oh, by the way, this dress I just photoed to sell and I'm trying to decide if I'm keeping it or not because it's got this like scarf collar thing that kind of tucks in and you can jazz it up and just like, I love a cowl neck, it looks good. So this you can play with, I can pull it down, I can do other things, I can kind of zhuzh it. I'm enjoying this neckline right now. Um, so I think I'm gonna wear it at least once or twice before I decide if I'm selling it. Uh, but it's cute. It's just a little shift dress and so with leggings in the summer or something or just little I you know You always wear shorts under because I like little capri leggings. They're super cute. They remind me of the 50s um, In the summer, especially. Oh one thing that I did purchase besides I got a plus size dummy and then a, a regular size dummy except the regular size dummy is like a size 2 and the plus size dummy is like a size 12 and so it's I'm feeling frustrated by that a little bit because neither of them shows off the clothes as well as I'd like without having to like tuck to make some and I feel like tucking is a little cheating but otherwise things just hang funny um, so I did get this hanger because especially for guys I don't have a guy dummy and I'm not gonna buy one right now I'm not selling enough guys clothes to actually so, sold no men's clothes yet I do have about 10 listings um, but if I put the guy's shirts, especially the broader shoulder guy shirts on a regular hanger, they kind of slouch over and then they don't look really good in the pictures. So I got this hanger, which actually, um, here, let me just do this. You can expand the shoulders. It's a little awkward. I haven't, I'm sure there's probably an easier way to do it, but I just pull so I can expand these shoulders out. Um, and so then the, obviously most guys aren't this, I usually go out too. So it has some notches here so it can go out five different things. And I usually take it out too. Um, let me just, so it's like this. And that I'm finding really helpful for photographing men's shirts. And I don't like the color. The rest of my hangers are all gray so it kind of annoys me that it doesn't match. But it does give a little better line when photographing. I've also switched into my office from this background and I'm, Finding, I'm having trouble getting my lights to stay consistent. I'm using the same lights in the same spot on the same wall And of course there is Sun that's going back behind the house that kind of changes there but even when I'm photographing at the same time of night my phone is doing weird things with the lights So I'm still trying to work out my lighting and finding a great place to photograph that I like the look of right now It's just kind of like e eh. I'm not super thrilled people are still buying things, but I don't have pictures that go like wow I really want to buy stuff. Those are awesome pictures. They're just like, oh yeah, that's a shirt. Um, so, but this is a fun little thing that I found. It's on Amazon. I just looked up like hangers with ex like expandable hangers or wide shoulder hangers or something like that. And I found these and they weren't super expensive. They come in a set of three. Um, yeah, so that's just my little update on what's going on so far. The extra money has paid for all of the accessories I've purchased. So my dummies, my lights, little extra hangers. I did have to buy more hangers, a lot more hangers. Uh, but I haven't made profit as yet as far as all of the clothes I have sourced because you have to make the more money, you know that. So I'm paying back my loans for supplies, personal loans, um, and working of course on 
making some actual money back from the clothes I'm selling. Right now, that is just my little six week update. I appreciate you so much for stopping by and there are some folks on Poshmark and Instagram you should check out um, who have some great closets and are super friendly and working to build business. Plus they have really cute things so you should go buy them. Um, what makes, uh, why Nix, is it why Nick? Oh my gosh. I had these all in my head before I started this and now I don't remember. Why Nick Sparkles? Um, has some really cute stuff in her closet and she's a sweetheart. The, of course, Basic Midwestern and Topaz H. You should go check out their closets. I'll link below. Um, oh gosh. Now I can't remember. I'm so embarrassed. Hold on just a second. The awkward thing about that is I was going to check my phone and I'm filming with my phone. <sighs> Hold on just a second, again. Okay, back. Nina Epic Storm, KG's Closet, and Alaska Poshing Chick. Uh, I think it's Chick, oh my gosh. I think this is what they call pre-menopause brain when I can't remember anything, which by the way is super frustrating when you used to always remember everything and never have to write it down and uh, suddenly your brain stops remembering everything. No one tells a person that this happens. So I'm telling you, just a heads up. And I'm sorry I'm a little scatterbrained because apparently it's natural and it happens. <sighs> anyway, those are some closets you should check out. Say hi to them over on Instagram and go check out what they have if you are a shopper. And if you are a posher, then say hi to them, give them some shares and some follows just to be nice and friendly like so that we can all support ourselves. Support ourselves. Well, it's good to support yourself too. So I mean, hey, you, Give yourself all the encouragement you need to kick some major booty, but also go support the other people too so that they can give you a little bit of love back. I hope everything is well for you, that your closet is beautiful, sassy, and selling well, and I hope that you will come back next time to check out what's going on here in the world of the rainy day shopper. I will see you next time. Bye.